Well, hello, Shadow Rocks here. Time to play some more PC building simulator. You seem to like the last video, so uh, we're up to. We've just got our PC parts delivered here. Uh, we've got some RAM delivered and some cooling, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next day where we should be able to get some more stuff done. So uh, we're going to end the day. Go to work. Right, here we are. So we've got the bits. We've got a power supply delivered and we've got a motherboard delivered. So we're going to. Yep add them and now we've got to fix this PC so which PC was this now so this was the whose PC was this one this is the doctor's one. Oh yeah this is this this is the one in the last video where I actually I sort of uh, might have forgot to put the thermal paste on the PC so yeah the, the client's not been too happy and they've sent it back so we're gonna go and gonna take all this off and put the thermal paste back on and hopefully not get sued right so let's get the side of the case off let's get our screws out there's one there's the other okay Let's try and remove that, let's unclip it. Okay, now that's the trouble. We need the we need the paste. How on earth did I forget to put paste on that? I don't know. Okay, we've got paste on it now. Now we need to put the cooler back on, so let's install uh, the cooler. There we go. Now we need to connect the wire to it. Where's my wire? Where's my wire? Cable. There we go. Oh, hang on. Did we, did we connect the right thing then? Hang on a minute. Am I totally connecting that up wrong? There we go. It should be connected now. Is it connected? Yeah, the CPU cooler's connected there. I'm getting confused with the motherboard wire. I can't actually see if that's connecting properly. That looks like that's not connected. I think that's all connected now. That totally blew my mind. Right, let's go and get it connected up. Now they seem to have changed the uh, way you actually connect the things on this now because you seem to be able to, you can just do it from, do that bit, and that bit, I'm pretty sure I used to drag them, didn't I, in the last video, or am I remembering that wrong? Right, that's everything connected. Let's um, get it powered up. Okay. <laughs> what, what is this picture in the background? <laughs> what have you got as your, your desktop background? Okay, it wants me to run a 3D Mark, I believe, for this one. Yeah, it wants me to run 3D Mark. <laughs> just, that's just uh, tickled me completely. Right, we need to add remove programs. So, has he got it on it already? No, he's not. We need to go on, we need to stick the USB stick in. So let's stick our USB drive in. There we go. Now we can go ahead to this, get 3D Mark installed. Okay, let's get this installed. Installing. There we go. Oh, we need to restart as well. Typical. Okay, and then we want to, I assume he wants me to run it. Um, let's just run a standard thing with it. Ooh, oh, look at the frames per second in this. Some pretty good frames a second there. It's better than my PC. 8.8 .8 frames per second. Wow, that is pretty slow. Right, so that runs. Is that class as good enough to say it, it runs? No, it's... What? I've just run it. I've got to... You, you're seriously telling me I've got to run a full cycle of that. That was terribly slow. Okay, I guess we've got to sit and watch this then. 8.8 .8 frames a second. We're going to sit and watch this. Oh, that is painful. I guess if you, if you skip out of it, then you're not going to be able to get the 3D mark complete. So we're just waiting. We're just waiting for it to benchmark. And then we can go on to the next bit. Oh, next scene. Oh, this is a nicer scene. 20 frames a second now. We've, du we've doubled our speed. I'm 
fact, we're, our frame rates, our frame rate so fast, it actually looks like we're breaking the counter there. Twenty-one frames a second. Oh. I have not run 3D Mark for about four years now. I used to love running that program. Right, next. Oh, 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 we don't like this one. 17.8. Is that 18? I think I broke the frame rate counter again. 18.1 looks like what we're stuck on. You can hear that fan going. Listen. <laughs> so loud. Whoa, what sort of cool museum is this? Looks like it's in uh, Lara Croft's house. Nice. So we've benched a uh, 3,096. Um, so that should be good. Yeah, we can run that now. Right, let's power that off. And we need to stick the side of the case back on. We need to get our screws in. Right, and then we need to get all our cases out. So we click on the actual wires. It's quicker than doing it the other way around. So let's get all our wires pulled out. Uh, PSU is the last one to come out. Don't forget to take my memory stick out. Okay. And then we need to actually leave by the door now. But, but first, we have something else to do. We're going to check reader mail. No, we're going to check our emails if we've got any emails. Okay. Yeah, we've already done that one. We've we've done that one. Ooh. Recently upgraded my PC. Now it's not working properly. The computer boots okay. When I try and benchmark it or run a game, the computer crashes. I haven't replaced my PSU. Could my new parts be drawing too much power? Right, so we need to install a Sheen Power King 600 or better. So we're going to accept that one. And um, what's this one? My PC stopped working the other day. Now it won't turn on at all. I think it might be the motherboard. Uh, if it needs a new one, I know it needs a Skylake socket. Right, so we need a Skylake socket, and we also need a 600 watt power supply. Yeah, a Power King 600 power supply. Right. I don't think I've got any in stock. Can you check your actual stock of your uh, units there? I don't think you can. No. It's a pity you can't tell what stock you've actually got, because I did buy some parts. Have we got? Have we got an inventory? We've not got an inventory. I did actually order some parts the other day, though. I can't, I can't remember what I ordered. Right, we're gonna have to order a new um, power supply. So we need one of those. And my memory fails me. What was the other thing that was wrong? The other one was the motherboard. And we needed a Skylake motherboard. They're all the same. Um, socket they're all 1151 so i'm just gonna go for the cheapest okay and then we are gonna go to uh the cards next day delivery mm. can i let me let me let me check this out a second when's that pc part coming um so we are getting a delivery yeah the next day so we do really need that stuff for the next day so let's go ahead next day delivery fair box bye and before we forget we need to uh, pick this PC up wait a minute we need to pick this up and dump it by the door and we need to accept the email because I always forget to do that right there you go Okay, running nicely. Uh, I've been impressed with your timely fixing this issue. I'm happy to give you another chance. Recommend you to anyone who's... Yes. Oh, there's another new one. Okay. No, I've just ordered me stuff from the PC. Ah. Uh, you want 4 gig of RAM. Well, let's discard that. Right, that one's working. Oh, I've got another one as well. How did I miss this one? My computer stopped working the other day. Oh yeah, we need to accept that one. So the only one, I'm, the only one that I'm a bit is the RAM one. I need to upgrade the RAM, and I've not got RAM. Oh well, let's go to the next day. Right, end day. Wait a minute. Did I skip a day then? Wasn't I on? Wasn't I on Thursday? 
I'm sure I've just skipped a day. Oh, what an idiot. Right, so we've got a power supply on the new motherboard. Nice. And we've got three PCs. So, replace the motherboard. We can do that one. Let's do this one. Okay. So, let's take the sides of the case off. Let's get my screws, thumb screws out. Okay, so we need to replace the motherboard in this one. Let's zoom on in. So I'm going to have to take all the parts out for this. So uh, this is going to be a pain. Um, so we've got to un unclip all the uh, components first. Let's get the motherboard off. That's a nice cooler he's got there. Look at that one. Ooh, it's nice. I like that one. Okay, let's take his cooler out. Let's un undo his uh, power for it first. Okay, there we go. Let's take out the cooler. Uh, I need to unclip the uh, memory. Okay, and then just pull out the RAM. Nice. Uh, let's take his CPU out. And remember, Shirley Rocks, you do you do need actually to uh, put some paste on it this time. Right, so we've got the motherboard out now. Trying to think what that's connected to there. I think it's a I think it's a motherboard power connector to the front of the case by the look of it. To the uh these panels up here. So we'll disconnect that one as well. Okay, we should hopefully be able to take the motherboard out now. Okay, need to take all the uh, motherboard screws out. Looks like there's eight of these. Okay. Okay, now we need to install the new one. Right, where is my new one? Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Do we have to take the standoffs as well? Oh, I guess we do. I guess we need to take the standoffs. I thought maybe I'd ordered the same sort of motherboard, so I wouldn't have to take these other bits out, but I guess we do. Okay, motherboard can come out now. So now these standoffs need to come out. I know I'm going to have to screw all these back in as soon as I get this new motherboard, but it might be a different configuration. And, I mean, you, you, you're probably watching this and you, you know why I'm doing all this, but basically the motherboard goes on the stands, which keeps it raised away from the actual case because a motherboard on a metal case, apparently it's not really a good thing, right? So we need to install our new motherboard. Um, that's the broken one there. We can sell out for $3. So we're going to do a like for like. I'm going to install that one. I did already have one of those. What an idiot. That's interesting. So it wants me to install the motherboard. Ah, oh, it's okay. I thought he was going to install the motherboard straight onto the actual bare uh, case. That would have made me chuckle immensely. I've literally nearly done that myself. And uh, luckily I realised otherwise there would have been a nice... Uh, I think it would have just blown the motherboard. So if you've ever ever, if you've ever done that, let me know in the comments. Does it actually blow your motherboard or does it actually uh, blow the uh, power supply? Or your CPU or all of them? Right, so motherboard's in. Now let's get the cables connected. Oh no, we'll, we'll, put, the, we'll put the CPU in first. That's what I always like to put in first. But first of all, do you know what we're going to put in? We're going to put some thermal paste in. Right, let's get some thermal paste on. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. We need to put the CPU in first. What am I doing? It's like I've never built a PC before. Okay, so we open up the protector. We stick the uh, CPU in. Then we put our delicious thermal paste on. Just a grain of rice. Apply with a credit card or your finger. I think that's what you do. I can't remember. Uh, right, so we've got that in. Um, let's get the cool input in next. I do like that cool out, right? Next, we're going to put the uh, RAM in. So, which is a customer RAM? Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the customer RAM. So, I do actually have no spur RAM, right? Need to do the annoying little... Oh, 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 oh. Now, we'll stick it back in the way it was found. So, he's obviously put it in here because it's dual channel, I guess. Okay, that's one stick in. No, open. Did I not open the bottom one? <gasps> 
Oh, do I need to actually physically cl click on it like that? There we go. Right. So the RAM's in. CPU's in. Uh, we need to get the graphics card back in now. I don't remember actually di um, disconnecting the hard drive in this, which is quite bizarre. Um, where is his hard drive? Is it there? Oh, it's there. Okay, uh, cables next. So let's get everything connected up. So we want to connect, first of all, we'll connect the CPU up. That's always the pain to do. I can imagine my fingers will be bleeding after doing this build. So we're going to connect the motherboard there. And there. We're going to connect the air curler there and there. We're going to connect the motherboard there and there. Get the hard drive connected to one of the... I don't know which SATA port he had connected, but I'm going to that one. And now we need to just make sure it can boot up. I think we've connected up the motherboard already. Has he got more than one drive? Oh, he's got two. Right. There we go. Let's get everything else connected. Okay. And then the only thing I've got to do about this, I've just got to make sure the OS boots. So this is quite a nice, simple uh, upgrade. Let's power it on. Uh... PC state is missing cables, it says. Hmm. Pretty sure that should be powerable. <laughs> powerable on. That should work. Come on. Um. Why is that not working? Interesting. I've not connected some. You know what? We've not. Did I? I did connect the power supply. No, I did. Right, this is a head scratcher. Something isn't working. Um, got the graphics cards in. Got the got the new motherboard in. Let's get rid of the broken one. Got the RAM in. Got the storage. Yeah, I've got everything in. It was only a, a simple motherboard uh, swap. Why is this not powering on? It just says PC status missing cable. Uh, let me zoom in. So I've got me hard drive connected there. My power supply is connected there to the motherboard. Me power to the uh, fan is up there. That to me looks like that's everything. Everything should be good to go. Let's try and unplug the power supply again. Right, and stick it in again. Missing cables. Now, that's interesting. No wonder it's not... Hang on a minute. What's not connected up here? Oh, the case. I don't think we connected the case to the actual... <laughs> there we go. Oh. So, that's the thing with PCs. It can be something as simple as that, and it doesn't work. And you've just... I actually forgot to connect the panel on the case up there. So, yeah, that's why that wasn't working. His PC's working now. Uh, we just need to install the side panel in. Can you put a side panel in while it's actually on? There you go. He's not got any side panel fans, so... Nice. That's everything working. Let's get everything unplugged. So, that was a lot longer... Um, build than I thought it was going to be. I think I made that a little bit harder for myself. Uh, get everything undone and let's exit and pick you up. Okay, that's that done. Whew, that was a, that was a longer job than I thought. That is like a common thing with PCs where you do everything and it's the most simple thing that's broken. Um, this is from Afraid of Water, so we need to upgrade that to RAM. I have not actually got any RAM. I need spare RAM, and we can do this one. But I'm going to do that there. I'm going to mark the other one as um, done. And I do need some RAM. I can do that one. Um, but I do need to make sure that I've actually got uh, more RAM. Okay, we can discard that email. Can you help me with my PC? I need four gig of RAM. Uh, right, so I do need to get some, buy some RAM for you. I'm going to do... <gasps> Wait a minute. Was that... 
did I did I mess that up then? Did I did I cancel a job? <gasps> I did. I did, didn't I? Oh no, I'm such an idiot. I did that by mistake. Well, that's me being an idiot. Oh well, let's go to the ram. Let's go and buy some more ram from the shop then. Yeah, I can. I completely messed that up. I uh, I clicked on the wrong thing and actually um, got rid of it. Uh, we need to get some more ram. So what's the cheapest ram? Uh, Sixty bucks or just forty? Value ram is only forty dollars. Let's get some value ram. Let's go to the cart and we're gonna do three to five working days, ten dollars, and do buy now. Right, and we might as well. We might as well fix this other PC then. Right, so we need to put the new power supply in. I've completely messed that up. I can't believe I just uh, cancelled that job by mistake. Right, so this is just a simple job. I just need to actually replace the PSU. We might be able to replace the PSU without actually taking all this off. Hmm. No, we need to... This is a weird case to work with. I need to take, maybe I get, I get to the, I must have to get to the PSU from this side. Let's have a little look. Okay, so there's his PSU, he's got it mounted facing down, so we need to take out um, the connector there, the connector there, and there's another one down here. Okay, get that hard drive out. Let's take all the uh, mounting screws out. Oh, actually, there's double screws here. Okay. One last screw. Okay, that's out. Let's go and put the new um, power supply in. We have a load of these now. Now, in interesting. We could keep that because we might be able to use that in a future build. I did actually have two of these hard uh, power supplies. Okay, let's get all the screws in. Get the cables in. This should be a really simple one. So let's get everything connected. Um, motherboard connected to the power. Graphics card connected. Um, is that all the stuff connected? I think that should be it. Oh, hang on, there's one more here. We need to connect the case up. There we go. The, connect, the case needs to connect to the power. Oh, and the hard drives as well. We'll connect the hard drives. There we go. Let's power the beast on. And also stick the hard drive in as well, because he wants to put three... Whoa! I do not want to put thermal paste in it. We need to install the drive. Stick that USB drive in. There we go. Okay, so he wants to run 3D Mark. Oh, he's actually got it installed. Okay, let's run it then. Let's see what terrific rate this runs at. 15.8. That's still another another slow one. We're about to level up soon as well, so we're, we're going to go from level 2 to level 3, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, this will be... Uh, see what new stuff we get. Should be, it'd be good to get like a stock of uh, parts as well, like RAM and stuff. Maybe I should start buying RAM in uh, more than single units, like for some of the common things that arrive. Okay, next bit. So this is a bit... Uh, it's a bit annoying that you can't leave this running and then go and browse email and stuff like that while you're doing that. Maybe in a future update you'll be able to. Okay, got the last scene left. Here it comes. Better graphics card than this one. 25 frames a second there. What was the last one on this one? 18.1 I think this section got. 20.2. Okay. Ooh, frame rate looks like it's dropping there. This is pretty much 
pretty much what the, gra the graphics used to look like on my old graphics card if I tried to play anything too uh, intensive because before I upgraded it. Okay. 3,844. I think that's actually better. I think that was the last score, 3,040 or something. Right, we need to turn the uh, power off on this. Everything is successful. Let's power it off. We need to stick the side panel back on. Ooh. These look like they're exactly the same cases. Okay, let's get all the screws on. Okay. Let's get all the cables and stuff back out. So one, two, three, four, five. We need to put the side of the... Oh, that's why we had the identical case, because it was the other side. That's quite lucky I remember to uh, put that back on. Okay, that's everything done. Uh, exit that. Pick it up. Nice dump it there. There we go. Okay. There you go. Nice. We've leveled up. Ooh, let me read that. I've unlocked Ryzen quad core CPUs. I've unlocked AMD A4, AM4 socket motherboards. Diff. Oh, look at all the stuff I've unlocked. Oh, yes. Nice. What is that? Level 4 unlocks the quick screw tool. That sounds magnificent. Right. We've got a new task here. So, Blake Patterberg. He's one of the core team over at Movie Maniacs, the world's number 53 website in the UK for movie news and reviews. Um, what does he want? I'd like to have written my computer for a more complete frame-by-frame -frame analysis. Sadly, I don't have enough power. I don't have enough hard drive space to do so. Could you increase my storage to suit? Another terabyte should do the trick. Okay, so I need to upgrade to 1.5 gig. Okay, we'll accept that. And then we've got another one here. Playing a great simulator, sailing simulator game. When my computer will just about run it, if I turn up the graphics, frame rate drops. Um, so you need a better graphics card. Um, ooh, interesting. So what does he actually need? I use a program to see what I need. It recommends why my PC is okay. I recommend a better GPU. I don't have a clue what graphics card he's got, though. Uh, does that mean I need to get the PC, see what the specs are? This job requires you to use a will-it-run program that can be purchased from the shop. Install it on the PC. Ah, oh, there you go. That's probably, that's that's really interesting. Right, so we've got two things coming. So we've got, we need the hard drive. Um... Which I assume and I can now buy a bigger hard drive. So it wanted 1.5 terabytes. Uh, let's just have a look. Where are you? Where are you? So we've got a terabyte. Now, he said he wanted a 1.5 terabyte. However, I can only see a 1 terabyte. Hmm. I guess it's going to be that one. Now... The software as well. Where, where was that software then? That will it run? Oh, look at this as well. Auto connect tool. A thousand bucks. Um, where's the will it run software? There you go. 200 bucks. Okay, we're going to need to buy that and that. And that'll do. Uh, let's get next day delivery as well. And that should do. Um... We've done that one, we can get rid of it. We've done that one, we can get rid of it. In transit, we've got four gig of RAM uh, coming. And that and that is on the way. So I think, I think, I think that's it for the day. Let's go and check the calendar. Yeah, so we're on today. We're getting the, uh, today's nothing's coming here, but we're getting the new hard drive mission level next and we're getting the PC uh, delivered about building the, um, the sailing computer game and we're also getting the one where we need to install the RAM. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there for now. So this is PC Building Simulator. I am now level three. Woohoo! Yeah. Hope you, hopefully you like watching this and seeing me fumble through my escapades of forgetting to connect the power to the case. Yeah. Anyway, this is PC Building Simulator. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.